going on you guys and welcome back to another video so today guys we're rebuilding the minnesota twins um this is a team that has probably one of the best offensive lineups in baseball but the one problem is is that they can't get over the hump and the hump is that playoffs you know they can't go past you know the first round they literally got swept by the Astros and it's just like they can't you know they play the Yankees they get swept you know it's just it's not good for them really so my job is today we're gonna focus on the pitching side um, the offense not really I think the offense is okay I think second base is fine uh, it's nothing too, he's nothing too big Luis but with this offense and he had a good average he should be okay to be there and he's still only 22 um, Jorge Polanco um, he's not bad to have at shortstop um, he had a good season so it's okay he's only 26 Nelson Cruz that dude's great he's probably one of the you know top batting lineups or batters in this lineup uh josh donaldson i don't think he played that much i don't know really what happened to him in the playoffs but um he's he did good with the braves max uh he's good he's had pretty good seasons for them he's another one brian buxton he's a great player that dude is phenomenal miguel sano he's good um Eddie Rosario as well. He's a good outfielder, good hitter. Mitch Garver's a good catcher. Um, good hitter, had a good season. Marlon Gonzalez, good utility. Alex as a bench or uh, backup, he's not bad. So the offense is not, you know, that bad. It's just the pitching side. So Kenta Maeda, he had a good season in the 2020. Uh, Jose Brios, he's good. Um, Rich Hill. 39 um, didn't pitch that much but has been pretty consistent for you know the Dodgers the last three seasons he had with them uh, Randy he's one of their young I want to say prospects come that came up uh, Jake Odorizzi who's a free agent now uh, he had a good season with them but really before that he's really hovering over the fours of the ERA um, Michael, he's just in the bullpen. That dude likes to cheat. Homer Bailey as well. Uh, Trevor May, he's good. So the bullpen needs a little bit of, you know, some adjustments. Taylor Rogers didn't do too good, but he's a good closer. Um, so I think we need to go out and get like a good number three, maybe number four. Uh, I think Randy is going to be good for number four. Probably like a number three starter. Um, and then maybe like a number five. So we're just going to do that. We're not going to do any moves to the bullpen. Um, so I'll be right back. All right, guys. So we got a trade with the Rays here. We're giving them Michael, um, Rich Hill, and then Jordan, one of our pitching prospects. I don't know why he just he doesn't look too exciting for me he's already 21 and his hits per nine are low his control is not good his velocity's there but you know just not that exciting for me so we're getting back um charlie morton um and ryan who normally does good uh we're getting them back so it's not gonna be bad especially charlie morton for the playoffs he'll be our number three and then um I guess Ryan will could go no Ryan could go right here um, and then we'll have Jake Odorizzi as a long reliever or whatever um, so that's gonna be it I'll see you guys at the all-star break all right guys so the twins are currently 61 and 41 uh, they're in second place behind the White Sox who are looking pretty good um, we're ranked fourth in all of baseball. Uh, let's see here. So Kenta Maeda is having a good season. He's nine and one. That ERA is looking great. Uh, Jose Barrios isn't doing the best. I don't know what's up with him. Uh, Charlie Morton isn't either. I don't know why is he not doing that good. Randy, he's doing pretty well. 
Ryan is doing great as well. Uh, bullpen, Jake is doing all right. Homer is doing there. Trevor's doing great. Bullpen's not bad except for Tyler and Homer, but it's not bad. Um, let's see here. So the rotation is a weak spot. Offense isn't too bad. Luis is not doing bad. His average is pretty high. Uh, Jorge's doing there. Uh, Cruz is having a good season. Josh Donaldson's doing well. Max as well. Everybody else is doing good. Miguel, Eddie, Mitch. Marwin's doing good at his job. Alex. So it's going pretty well. Um, now we did go out and get some draft picks. Let's see here. Um, all right, let's do this real quick. So we did go. We went inside on the starting pitcher. Um, we got a couple, I believe. Yeah, we got three. We got a reliever who's going to look pretty promising, apparently. Um, so, our, our really, our, th um, what's it called? Uh, farm director isn't doing too bad. I don't know why we got, we're, we're looking pretty good, honestly. I just don't know why we got a left fielder for. Um but yeah so the team's not looking too bad i'll see you guys at the end of the season all right so we finished 94 and 68 uh we're playing the athletics in the first round um and then we'll play the los angeles angels surprisingly so uh first let's look we finished off second place behind the white Sox, ranked fourth white Sox looks like they're doing pretty good i see tim anderson had a good season maeda did great that dude had a phenomenal season uh, Jose didn't do the best, uh, as so as Charlie, Randy as well, Ryan. So these two are the only ones that did great. Um, Taylor Rogers delivered, man. Garrett Cole had a good season. Um, I'm, I'm really surprised that, um, Jose had that bad of a season. Um, so let's sim. Let's see how it goes. Game one. And we lose that to the Athletics 2-6. What the world happened? Maeda didn't do good. So, let's send to the offseason. Let's see who wins it here. The Yankees defeat the Dodgers. Seems like that's always happening every time now. Uh, this guy retired. He wasn't nothing good. Dustin Pedroia retired. Um, he needed to anyways. He's just getting up in that age. Nobody into the Hall of Fame. So let's take a look here. So, um, Marwin Gonzalez, how he do? Not too bad. Let me see how much he wants. 6.4. I think we'll do that. Plateau. Really. Uh, Trevor May, he had a good season. Um, I say we could lock him down. Club option. 20 million maybe we'll give him 20 million back loaded uh nelson cruz he's starting to play down but that dude did great like these are numbers you do not see from a 40 year old 55 home runs 137 rbis and a batting average of 303 on base of 402 slugging 618 ops 1.020 like this is probably one of his best seasons he's ever had. I think so. I think we'll give him an extension. Or we'll give him a contract one more year. Because really, it happens. He's going to start to die down. Uh, Charlie Morton, I think we're going to let him walk. Um, how much does he want? Well, he wants 5.6. Um... I don't know. I think we're going to let him walk. Because Charlie Morton's 37 and he's starting to play down. His numbers are going to get way worse. Jake Odorizzi, he had a good season. We'll bring him back for one year. 6.5. He'll be a rotation arm with club option. Um, Homer Bailey, we'll let him walk as well. Uh, Sergio Romo, letting him walk. Alex. As a backup catcher, you're fine. No, no, we're going to let him walk. Tyler, I think we're going to let Tyler walk. Um, 
this guy he's not a bad bench bat really um we'll give him one year and then this guy i don't let him walk so i'll see you guys at the free agency all right guys so um let's take a look here because we are gonna end up needing um let's see let me rearrange this a little bit um let's do this um I feel like I don't know. I'm gonna be honest here. We I feel like we do need to trade for somebody big, um, like a big actual ace, um, because I don't think Kenta Maeda is gonna live up to it, and Jose Barrios is not doing that well. Um, Randy, I think we're gonna move him as a long reliever, so that will leave that one spot in. Um, Trevor May, he's back. Um, I guess he accepted that contract. Um, Matt, I don't think I gave him arbitration. Uh, yes, I did. Uh, Tyler, I think I didn't. No, I didn't. So we're going to have four bullpen arms. So we're going to need three more and then one more starter. Um, offense, I think our offense is fine. Uh, probably one more bench bat. Um, and that's it. So let's take a look here. We got DJ LeMayhew, who had a great season for a second base. And our second base isn't, like, too big at all that. Um, Corey Kluber didn't do too well. Um, let's check out bullpen arms first. So, Pedro, I don't know, really. Aaron Loop, he had a good season. Um, we don't need a closer, to be honest. Um, catchers, we might, we're going to need a backup catcher. Um, we don't need an outfielder. We just need starters, one starter, and then, um, three bullpen arms and then a backup catcher. Um, and maybe like a bench bat. So, I'll do a couple signings here, maybe a trade, and I'll see you guys in a little bit. All right, so, we got a trade with the Mets here. This is probably going to be my most surprising trades. And trust me, like, I'm shocked. I don't know if they're, like, trying to rebuild, which I think that's what it is. But we're li literally giving them Kenta Maeda and our left fielder, who's not even an not even close to a B potential prospect. I literally added him and it worked, which I don't understand. Now, I don't have forced trades. Trust me, I don't. For Jacob deGrom and Andres Jimenez, like, you know dang well I am doing that trade. So, deGrom will be our ace. We did get a bench bat in Jimenez. Um, we're still going to need a backup catcher and probably one more. So, really... What's left is not like that bad. That is a good trade and the budget, our bank is not broken. And DeGrom had a phenomenal season. Uh, let's see, I don't think we could check awards yet. But I don't know, I think the Mets are like in a rebuilding phase. Um, I haven't done any signings yet, but I was just saying I'll see you guys in a little bit. All right guys, so, um, we made a couple signings. Um, we didn't make a trade, really. We just went with signings here. Um, and you guys are going to be surprised with a couple that I made. Um, as you guys see on your screens, I already showed y'all. We traded for Jacob deGrom. I guess the Mets were just giving them away, giving him away. Um, I want to check something, though. I want to see awards. So he didn't win it. Clinton Kershaw did, surprisingly. Um, so let's take a look here at the rotation first. So we did give Ryan an extension. Um, we gave him a four year, $17 million contract. I believe it was, um, Randy, I guess they put him back in the rotation. We're not going to do that. So Garrett Richards, we signed him for 4.5 million, um, really for one year. Uh, bullpen, we got Aaron Loop, uh, who did well for $5 million club option. Uh, they brought him up. He didn't do too good. Let's see how he does. Matt, he was on the team. 
Devin, I guess. All right, and then we got to do drop somebody though. Um, Trevor May, you guys know we did get Greg Ho uh, Holland, four point zero million bullpen, and then like that. So I think we're gonna drop uh, this guy um, because. We did get Pedro. Um, so we're going to drop Devin. And then where is he at? Where is this guy at? He's pretty high rated though. Um, Matt did pretty well for us. We'll do that. Or we'll drop him to double. And Devin as well. Um, and then we'll do like that so we can have two, four, six, seven relievers. And then we did get Pedro, uh, five million club option as well. He's going to be our bullpen arm. So here comes the surprising. So um, I don't know what's going on here. We signed DJ LeMayhew. We got him on a 10-year, $310 million contract. Uh, he's going to be our second baseman. Um, I'm really doing this, to be honest. To boost up, um, I don't know why I did, what is going on here? And then this is our DH. All right. So, I got him really because, like, Luis, like, he's good, but it was better off. And our budget was still good. So, it was fine. Um, we got him. Um, and it's a good takeaway from the Yankees. Um, we also, I don't think we did, we signed anybody else. I think we did, but they didn't bring him up. Uh, Edwin Carnacion, we signed for one year. Uh, they put him on waivers, though. I don't know why. And Kevin Ploiecki has a backup catcher. Got him for 1.9. He has arbitration next year, so that's good for us. And then uh, you guys know Jimenez. Um, and then that's it, really. Um, that is it so this team's looking pretty well compared to how it was last year um we're ranked third overall so let's hope for the best um let's see what i want to see one thing though i want to see how the yankees lineup looks now they got cesar all right all right well i'll see you guys at the all-star break all right guys so um the twins are currently in first place uh ranked third they're 71 and 30 which is great to see uh let's see so degrom's having a phenomenal season that that he's doing great ryan as well uh jose's doing good uh jake not the best really um and then garrett richards not that well randy's doing pretty good as a long reliever from what i can see um Pedro's doing good. Aaron as well. Matt, not the best. Uh, Trevor May's doing good. Greg. Closer, Taylor's doing good. Offense, Cruz is having a good season again. Jorge as well. LeMahieu's doing good. Eddie, Donaldson, Max. Uh, it's looking pretty good. Um, Ploiecki's doing as good as well. Um, so the team's not looking that bad, really. Um, I'm liking it. Uh, that was the wrong thing. Um, let's see. So, we got Sean, which we do, will need to bring up somebody. Um, we got Sean, but our bullpen, our prospects for pitching are not doing good, really. Caleb is having him a good season, uh, and Jorge as well. Um, so, I don't know, really, what's going on. Um... Charlie Morton. Uh, let's see. Draft picks. So we did get another starter who looks pretty promising. Uh, this Relievers is what's key with this team from what I'm noticing. Um, relievers is what's really getting them. Um, so let's see the trading block here. Let's take a look. Um, Brandon Nemo's looking pretty good. Um, and they barely want anything for him. No. Trevor. Maybe we can do him. 
and give Jimenez back, uh, who's not doing that well. And we could put, let's see, Rosario is not doing bad. Max isn't doing bad at all. I don't know. And this is his last season for Rosario. Um, I think we're going to do something like that instead. And then maybe we could get ourselves like another starter. Um, trying to work the system here a little bit. I think we'll go Seth Lugo. How's he doing? He has arbitration one more year. Um, I say we do something like this. How's Jake? Jake isn't doing the best. How about for Lugo? And then we give Randy. Oh, well, Randy's doing good. Let's do this. Something like that for Nemo. And then we could shift Nemo to left. Um... If I could find him. Yeah. We'll shift Nimmo to left. Um, he could be our left fielder. Um, let's see. Um, yeah, he could be our left fielder. And then we can put Randy in the rotation as well as Lugo. Lugo could be... Ooh... No, we'll leave Lugo there and Randy, and then we'll put Garrett Richards as a longer reliever. Um, and then the lineup should be the same. We'll just put Nemo in left, and that'll be okay. So I'll see you guys at the end of the season. All right, guys, so we finished 114-48. and 48. We're taking on the winner of the wild card, which would be either Tampa or the Indians. So... We were ranked first, ranked third in all of baseball. Awards, uh, Trevor, again, uh, looking pretty good. Uh, DeGrom came second, but Cole beat him out. Uh, I guess. Um, yeah, DeGrom had a phenomenal season again, as we can tell. That was a great acquirement. Ryan, he did good. Jose had a great season. Lugo as well. Randy, he did better. Pedro did good. Richards wasn't the best. Aaron did well. Matt didn't do too good. Greg Holland as well. So the pitching side wasn't too bad. Cruz had another good season, but he's dying off so bad. Um, Polanco had a good season. LeMahieu did good. Brandon Nemo did good. Donaldson was there uh max did good brian as well miguel and then mitch garver did good just that average ploecki did good uh, our bench wasn't too bad either um so um let's see we got a closer who's looking pretty good from what i'm being told all right so let's see we're taking on tampa game one game two game three game four perfect Taking Astros, game one, game two, game three, game four. Awesome. Taking on the Braves here. Lugo, game one. Randy, DeGrom, Ryan, Jose. Come on, guys. Awesome job. And we win the World Series. That is great. Let's see here. DeGrom did great. Ryan wasn't the best, but he still got it done. Playoff, Mitch Garver was playoff MVP. Um, so let's see who retired here. Cruz and Edwin. How Edwin do? He didn't even play really. Um, so let's let's discuss here. Cause it's a I'm really surprised, honestly. But I had a feeling this team was gonna be good because and it's like I had a feeling because it it, it surprised me when the Mets just gave away DeGrom. Like, they literally gave him away. Like, let's see. Um, let's take a look here. How did um, Kenta Maeda play out for them? If I can get to them. 
They had Syndergaard, Kluber, Kenta Maeda, he did well, but DeGrom did better. And then the left fielder, let's see if we can find him. I think it was, yeah, left fielder. The left fielder that we traded to them it wasn't Rosario. Um, I think it was this guy. Was it? I think it was. I don't know. But, like, he's 23 and he's still a C potential. And, like, they got Eddie Rosario. And then we got Jacob deGrom, who had a phenomenal season, did great with us. Um, and then who else was it that we acquired? Jimenez, who we gave back to them, who wasn't too bad as a bench bat. Um, shortstop, second, left, third, right, center, first, second, oh, uh, D8 spot. But this was a good team. Um, it's just like I think I had to trade away Kenta Maeda because he just wasn't going to be the guy. Um, Kenta Maeda is like a two or three number spot type pitcher. He's not really supposed to be an ace of the team. And that's the thing. This team has so much potential to win the World Series if they just could get go out and get pitching. Um, like, they should be one of the teams that are in talk to get Trevor Bauer because they need it. Like, Kenta Maeda is just not a guy you want as an ace. He's just not it. Um, but who knows? We'll have to see what happens this offseason. But... I hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, give it a like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys.